So I'm making this video because I'm conflicted. Let me tell you. Uh, I was contacted end of November by Jace Medical. Uh, they sent me an email to see if I would be interested reviewing their antibiotic kit. And I was intrigued. I mean, it's got five antibiotics. It's in a cute carry-all kit. But I ended up not following up on it because I'm conflicted. And you might say, well, why wouldn't you want a free kit of antibiotics that you can have at your house in case your family would need them? Well, let me go in to the reasons why. Now, as a prepper, you know, we've learned with supply shortages that can cause a problem, maybe getting medicines here. And we also learned that uh, a lot of the ingredients used in different pharmaceutical prescriptions and other medicines are made in China and made in India. So that can cause a problem if there's shipping problems or pandemic is closing down a country, whatever. So in that case, be nice to have antibiotics in your hand. And before, preppers only had one alternative, and that was to use fish antibiotics. And yes, I had made a video. Here's my in case of emergency antibiotics. I can you see in there. And I had these, gosh, maybe I've had them for over five years now. Um, when I got more into prepping, I worried. I mean, did you ever see that National Geographic uh, uh, doco, doco drama, whatever you want to call it, where anyway, I can't remember if it was EMP, something happened, the power grid went down and people were trying to survive. And one uh, young man who I believe was a uh, paramedic, uh, but anyway, he had just gotten a simple cut and he ended up dying because they had no antibiotics to treat it. And we forget how many people used to die because we didn't have antibiotics. So, used to be online, preppers would figure out how to use fish antibiotics, which basically, they're the same as humans, and purchase these and have them in their supply. Now, I took down uh, a video I made on that because, uh, again, I'm conflicted, and let me tell you why. You know, there's another video I made. Uh, it's in the, gonna be in the corner, uh, on superbugs. And I think we all have to be very, very careful because one of the reasons is overuse of antibiotics, but also it is a natural thing that happens where different bacteria is becoming resistant to antibiotics and they're called superbugs. And once that happens, it becomes much, much more difficult to save somebody's life. And what happens is the antibiotics kill what they're supposed to, you know, the bad bacteria, but they can also kill the good bacteria. And that can create a problem. I mean, that's why very often after taking an antibiotic, a person might get a yeast infection, right? Because it killed off the stuff that would kill the yeast. So there are also, of course, side effects to antibiotics. Some people are allergic and have life-threatening side effects. And we have a problem where patients demand and doctors often give antibiotics much more often than they should. Let me give you an example. Somebody at work had uh, bronchitis and I've had it before. I just, you know, treat it, maybe take some cough medicine. Actually, I don't, um, but you could. But I don't go into the doctor or anything. I know that it's a three plus week trial until the bronchitis goes away. Anyway, she went to the doctor and they gave her an antibiotic and different cold medicine. And I'm going, why would they give you an antibiotic? Bronchitis is viral. 
Antibiotics don't work for viruses, it's for bacterial illnesses. It doesn't work for fungal illnesses either. But you know what? That's what a lot of doctors do. Sure, your bronchitis could maybe go into a bacterial pneumonia, but that, that hadn't happened. There was no need for antibiotics. So she'd take those antibiotics, she didn't really need them, and things like that are increasing the antibiotic resistance. So that's one of the reasons I'm conflicted. I think people use antibiotics way, way too often. But let me tell you a little bit about what Jace Medical offers, and I'm getting this from their website because I did not have any further conversations. Each medical bundle is intended as an emergency supply for one adult. For $259.95, you get these five antibiotics, 28 tablets of amoxicillin, our local Meyer pharmacies, as long as you have a prescription, give it to you free for Cipro or amoxicillin, and you might have similar programs in your area. So, something to consider. Six tablets of erythromycin, 28 tablets of Cipro, 120 capsules of doxycycline, and 30 tablets of metronidazole. Not quite sure how to say that. And you also get a recommended dosage booklet, a real cute case, that travel case that also has room for other prescription medicine, and an online consultation. So, is this something you should be spending your money on? And there aren't, Jace Medical does not offer any kits for children, um, and I, I think there's reasons they probably don't want to be sued uh, you have different requirements for children. It depends on their age and their weight, what dosages they take, and they could end up being allergic to one of the antibiotics, and that can be life-threatening. Every year, according to the CDC, 70,000 children go to the ER because of an allergy to an antibiotic. And it might be just a rash, but it also can be life-threatening where they can't breathe. So, Jace Medical probably does not want to get into that area. So this gives you a recourse for adults, but not your kids. You probably will be self-diagnosing. You might call for a teleconference with Jace Medical, but chances are you'll read your little dosage book and you will self-medicate and self-diagnose. And that could be dangerous. You know, for a lot of bacterial infections, the way they are discovered is not just by symptoms because your flu symptoms aren't that much different if it's viral or bacterial. But the antibiotic is only going to work with a bacterial infection. So for a lot of different things, you have to have lab tests. You'll have blood tests. They might do throat swabs, you know, like for strep throat or uh, urine dips for UTIs or um, stool samples. And that's how they determine what type of bacterial infection you have and what is the best antibiotic to use. And if you're self-diagnosing, mm. now let's look at some of the diseases that Chase Medical on their website says these antibiotics can help. Ooh, anthrax exposure is on the list. You know, and a um, while ago, that was a concern, right, in the U.S. So I kind of looked at the CDC, and it recommends that you take two Cipro tablets for 60 days. Now, in this kit, we have 28 tablets, so that would cover you for 14 days, for two weeks. And... It might allow you to get where you need to go to get more of the CPRO, but it doesn't have enough for the recommended CDC dosage. So if you were in a true apocalyptic situation, anthrax was released, terrorism, whatever, it still might not save your life. And I noticed some of the things on this list, you know, I, I question because if it was really a bad situation, I don't think I'd want to use my antibiotics for it because in many cases, I would get better without using the antibiotics. 
you know, um, for strep throat, usually you have it for one to two days, you get your culture, you get your antibiotic, and by day three, four, you feel a lot better. So, wow, the antibiotic was great. And it is true, the antibiotic does kill strep throat, but it also could have gotten better on its own by day four. So, and the same thing, sinus infection, most sinus infections, you do not have to take an antibiotic. It will go away, you'll be fine. And I myself uh, suffer from diverticulitis. Occasionally I get an episode, I have a very large pocket lower in my colon, and I mean, that is painful, like almost passing out painful sometimes. But I've come up with my own regimen and uh, a, my primary care proves it. It works for me. I don't take any antibiotic. Even if I do have a bit of a fever, I right away go to a clear liquid diet for two plus days. It gives my bowels time to rest and I end up feeling better. Now, of course, if it got worse and worse, I would do something about it, but that works for me. So for a lot of different things, if it's a apocalyptic disaster, I don't think that you want to use your very precious antibiotics for some of the things on this list. So what's my bottom line? My bottom line is that I won't be purchasing a kit of antibiotics online because it doesn't meet my need or my husband's need. We no longer are taking more adventurous vacations. I mean, when I went to Borneo with my oldest son, maybe that would have been a good idea to have on hand. But we aren't doing that right now. Um, we don't do mission trips. If I was doing a mission trip to some remote area of the jungle, maybe it would be a great idea to be able to have this kit on hand. So it depends on what you are doing in your life, whether this is a good expense of your precious prepping money. In our case, buying more food for our pantry shelves makes more sense. But it might not for you. You have to decide what is best for your family. So comment below. Are you going to be buying online antibiotics? Have you already done that? Do you have fish antibiotics on your shelves? Please comment. As always, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Please subscribe and share the knowledge.